deck list because we were a little tilted. Ah, it's fine. We'll just we're just gonna stop playing the cute decks. We're gonna fire up. We're gonna fire up the redlings and just like show people why this deck is the best. I mean, I have all the hex cards, all the relevant ones, anyways. So yeah, I could build a mono diamond deck. That being said, playing a mono diamond deck against Lasgard's Vengeance deck sounds about as appealing as playing my MC deck against Lasgard's Vengeance decks. The Emperor's matchup's kind of hard. That being said, it does have a lot of play to it, so... This Zanya is great. I would like to point out that she already has Rage 1. And next turn, she's going to have, like, Rage 4. It's annoying. So because these both got Dreadling Gems in them, I'm actually going to go ahead and just offer this trade here. It gets another point of Rage on my Zanya, and it also lets me um, get an extra troop in my Crypt if they want to take the trade. Deal. Shard War is actually a reasonable answer there, Rogue. You're not wrong. Interesting. Pretty sure I want to just jam this on you down their throat. It's got rage four, so let's do it. Hopefully, don't get Empress Lock next turn, so we don't have a Lasgar in our opener. All the troops in my hand get rage one. Despite all the rage. Do -do 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 Someone will say what is lost could never be saved. Why didn't we cremate first? Why would I want to cremate? Just to push more damage through? I mean, like, I like holding the cremate just in case we draw a second one so we could double cremate the Empress. Wicked Whip Swan's an excellent draw here. It's another reason to have held our scrounge card. Wicked Whip Swan gives us a manner of generating um, assault triggers through Empress of Ice, which is important if we manage to draw a Lasgar's Vengeance. Kind of interesting sequencing here that they let on the prompt instead of playing the focus first. Yep. Let's get. Oh, that's pretty good. Whoa, that's a huge liability. Well, let's hope we draw. Let's hope we draw Lasgar. Lasgar! Dead. Noxious Glory in, Ruby's Favor in, Gruesome Deeds in, Cremates out, Xanya's out, Death Seeker's out. I don't hate that. Let's go. Ruby's Favor kills uh, Commander Prompt, which is nice. But it did make Zadia look sweet. You're not wrong. Sounds like that's super exciting. I could I could actually see an argument for mulliganing this hand in this matchup just because it doesn't have a Lasgar in the opener. Yeah, you're not wrong, Ace. You're not wrong. Getting the the cat the cat crack back is is real. Want to hold on to our other ruby shards so we can play them post matriarch.
Uh, we are losing a bunch of ladder matches. They got a blood threshold. That's really good for us. I wonder if that was a misclick. We finally lost enough with the medium minus decks to shift to a real deck. And we're still getting crunked down a game here. Rand's decent, and the fact that they just got a blood there means we're not getting Empress, Empress anytime soon, which is nice. Drew Dodred with the 13 month resubscription over an entire year. Welcome to the Raichu gifts. I appreciate the continued support. We're in no danger of dying next turn. Not only are they stuck on two resources, but they don't have thresholds. And next turn, they should be pretty dead. We get to go Scrounge Dread Apprentice, which will trigger this. We get to make another Ruby threshold to make this a 5-5. Five -five. <laughs> or 5-3, sorry. Four, yep. I think I want to hold this. I think we're going to hold this for now. If we can win this game without showing them Noxious Glories in our deck, I think I would prefer to do that. And, like, by all means, if they, like, set up something that, like, means we need to Noxious Glory next turn, like, obviously we'll Noxious Glory. How much damage is distributed by just straight do here? Not enough. They can't copycat it, so... I guess Commander Prompt could theoretically be bad for us. They could Prompt, and then... Nah, even Prompt's not lethal, so... Yeah, I think it's fine to just not show them the glory just yet. Shroud there was pretty good. The fact that they made that blood threshold just like biting him here. <laughs> fun, fun factoid that I love sharing with people when they talk about Lasgar's Vengeance. Did you know that card was almost a bulk rare when it was printed? No one thought that card was going to be particularly good. You have another shroud here to ready this for blockers. They don't, so they're dead. Save it up. I bought... I bought my wife for a play set of Lasgar's Vengeances for 50 plat each. I was playing a Mama Yeti McBombus deck and I was like, this card seems great. It turns out it was. Turns out, one-sided Plague Wind deal 4 damage to you. Pretty good. Sounds like medium minus. The Gruesome Deed probably pushes it into being keepable. Spe speak of the devil! That card's in our deck. Uh, I think I'm gonna play the Ayotachi coins out here. So ideally... Eh, maybe I didn't need to do that. The people that like, the people that like, 
play for all their cards, like open them all at a limited, like that just takes so long. Bride, Bride's a legendary, right? Like, Lasgar's Vengeance and Rudier, like, those are expensive, powerful rares. No blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and play this Underworld Crusader here. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this now. This is gonna take our Lasgar's Vengeance down to four. Which means we can cast it. We'll get one of our own free Lasgar's Vengeance wins. Take this big bad Empress deck! Man, your shrouds are so adorable. I get it. I get it. You have shrouds, they're adorable. It's to make you feel good. And like, one of the things that's interesting about Hex that like they've done so much better than Magic is that um, in Magic, like the cards that are really powerful are generally kind of narrow. Like they don't, they there aren't powerful cards in every color in Magic it feels like to me, yeah, especially in their standard formats lately. This might be a little bit of an aggressive use of this, but I really just want to like hammer in my damage here. And like I had this Doxus Glory to clean up here too if I need it. Sure. You want to come sit by dad? I love you, Jacob. You're a good kid. Or, you want pretzels? Yeah. yeah. Get our second blood threshold here. I don't know if there's many pretzels left in here. I might have to go get some more. I don't know that Shroud's like a card you want in this matchup though, right? That's their 4 for it. I'm gonna hold the Rust Bucket Distractor until they play something bigger, I think. Sure. Opponent stumbling and dying pretty hard here. Yeah, I think I'm actually just going to scrounge this here so that way I can attack next turn. I'll make this 1 1 not be able to block. We have a gruesome deed to punch through a potentially bigger blocker if we need to. Like, they obviously wanted to chump with this, that's why they left it back. God, please play 60 copycats. Shard 60 copycats. Come on. I believe, I believe, I believe. How many cats on the dance floor, Jacob? Too many cats on the dance floor. Zero cats. None. I was promised cats on the dance floor. Let's hit this. Let's hit this. Let's gruesome deed this. Another shroud, sure. Get rid of all your idiots then. If I can't have it, nobody's having it. Daddy's going to get another bag of pretzels, huh? This one's almost out. Oh, 
<laughs> How do we miss the point of damage? I should attack with everything there first, assuming they're going to have a deny. I suppose that's fair. That's kind of unfortunate. Play this. I'm gonna hold on to the Necropolis coin for now, I think. Sacrifice an artifact here. Every troop we control has scrounge at this point because of the Graven Geist and the web spawn. Yeah, favorite's great, man. Nickel and dime out of the game here. It's unfortunate. Um yeah, I mean, we'll just crack up for four, I guess. We could we're, we could be losing an assault trigger, but like they're just gonna exhaust this anyways. Or yep, never mind. J LOL, JK. The good news is, if we draw Lasgars, we could just play it. Oh, we got that going for us. Attack here for two. Sacrifice the one that they block. annoying. Oh, let them attack with that. That's interesting. This is also survives Lesgars. Is this good? If so, why? Can, can anyone answer? Any Anyone? Can the class answer? Get out of here! Watch him just rip another rip another Empress here. Got him! Ha! Got him! D O B, Captain Jack. Rawr. Redlings say rawr. Damages. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't make dead click on the wrong thing here, kiddo. God bless. All right. Help. There you go. It's got you. We got you, fam. Give him the old negative free beat down. I mean, that was the opponents out there, right? Like, Jake grabs the mouse and makes me sacrifice the Geist. Eh, say it's not exciting, but it's a keep. The last hand did not have any Ruby, so it was easy mulligan. Ah! Ah! Uh. I love you, oldest son. Get my money maker out there and shake it all around.
Opponent is playing McBombus. Let's see what they got going on here. Don't make me feel bad about myself, mortal. The Crimson Slayer! The Crimson Slayer! <laughs> yep. Oh no! Oh no! So we play the McWeb spawn here. We get to hit our champ power, which will make two dreadlings, and we get to attack our opponent for four. And then next turn, we can scrounge both of these, which will make two dreadlings and give this plus power, which is very, very nice. They had a free block there with the Swift Striker and chose not to take it. Interesting. I guess I could have had some kind of pump spell to punish them. Hopefully they like consult the talents here or something so that way I can work or bot. Interesting. I'm not sure we have any mini pretzels left. Dad might have to go get some more. Oh, there's some crumbs. We're down to just crumbs. Snack factory, send help. Use this crypt dust. So this could give something flight now. I did I did miss Christie's message. Thank you. I I know I know where there's more pretzels. I'm aware I'm aware that more exist. It's just, you know, I have to walk all the way upstairs. It's just it's a huge effort, really. It's, it's a lot of work, is all I'm saying. So we're not actually in that great of a spot right now. These Death Seekers do not line up well against their board. Our last card is a brick. Brick City! Brick City! We could have given it flight, you're not wrong. Right, should take our three here. We'll put sadness on the stack when they last guards vengeance us. Really, you think so? Give this Death Seeker flight here. Yeah, the old flying Death Seeker. I think I'm gonna hold on to this Graven Geist for a turn, just in case my opponent has Last Guard Vengeance in hand. That's like. The best of our ability to play around it is to wait on this, and then, like, if we draw another troop next turn, we could potentially play this into the troop scrounge to get into this game post Lascar. You are very loud! Very loud. You're like your father. Is your dad very loud? That's rude. How am I supposed to fly with my nerds? Where are my nerds at? How are my nerds supposed to fly now? Oh, jeez. 
Oh, jeez. Well, you know, on a scale of one to really dead, sliding firmly towards that very dead side of this scale. Deck with the Scribs of Slayer here. If he wants to trade two of his idiots for this, that's fine with me. We are, we are in fact winning the card advantage race in the matchup that's not about the card advantage. Where my last guys at? Where my last guys at? Lasgar needs vengeance, Jacob. Vengeance for Lasgar. Whoa, that's aggro. And by that, I mean, hello, Lasgar's my old friend. Am I dead? Kill me! Just a blam smith, you say. Well, well, well. I didn't have two idiots in my crypt. I already scrounged. Oh, I thought I had idiots in my crypt. That's fine. Goes block, block, take three, four, five. Deal. Oh, that is how this works, right? I don't know why I assumed he was going to block these two. That's unfortunate. Are we done on the crackback? Shouldn't have attacked with us. We should count better. We should slow down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Dead to cremate. Dead to second phoenix. Not dead to transmogrifade. <laughs> to add to the diaper fund, seven month resubscription. Thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. Welcome back. All right, hopefully we're going to shake our money maker in this next draw step here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. They have to leave back one of these flying dorks for this. If we draw any troop here, we get to scrounge this. We get to scrounge it, which makes the Crimson Slayer scary. It's actually kind of an interesting attack here. Yep. All right, well, pass the turn. That just gave me an idea. Gave me an idea for one of the ten dollar, the ten dollar sub emote. It should be like the diaper, diaper fund. Dead on board. I don't think we're dead on board, but I haven't actually counted yet. This idiot can chump. God, that's so good for us. That's so good for us, right? There's three idiots in here. Oh, yeah. God, that's good. Yeah, oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. So you can't block. Make some dreadlings. Smashy, smashy. Got him. What a close game. What? What a close game indeed. Um, Repost sounds excellent here. 
opponent likely has Lasgars of their own. Death Seeker is a giant smoldering pile of poop soup. So bad, in fact, I'm going to put in a Gemborn Prowler as our last one. Cremate seems okay here. Not fantastic, but not the worst. So let's board like that, I think. Oh. <laughs> I don't think this hand's keepable on the draw. I think this hand's kind of close, and I think anytime you have a close seven that doesn't involve a Lasgar's Vengeance in a matchup where Lasgar's Vengeance is good, you should just automatically mulligan it. This hand is reasonable and has a Lasgar's in it, so just like much, much better. Oh, right, I should put the I should put the deck list up here. Uh, the deck list is not... That's the... Oh, it's got the wrong title. Right cards, wrong title. Someone remind me to save it after this match. That does not make a threshold. Azania is a new-ish addition. I noticed a couple of decks in the Arcanum, in the, one of the Arcanum Vaults tournament had Zanya in them, and we were giving them a try. She's okay. She's kind of like an extra copy of Lasgars. There might have been merit to just going Ruby Pass here so we could take a potential Lanuplaz site. That being said, I feel like there's less sites in their deck post reserves in this matchup. Gemborn looking much worse than Deathseeker would be here, but they also just like haven't played the next one yet. Let's play this out. I'm not gonna activate this just yet. Not playing the Valor because I don't really want to play it into a transmog. Although I guess if they're transmogging this, then my next my next really good threat's gonna be better. Like I'd much rather they transmog this like transmog a crusader, I suppose. Things that still trigger assault. Hatchery Priest. Definitely, definitely on the triggering assault plan. It's Valor this to make it look less suspicious. It's still pretty suspicious for the record. Peace Star. For dropping by. Play Lanupaw's site. Play Lanupaw's site. Rats, we're so unlucky. Our opponent hasn't drawn Lanupaw's site yet. Even uh, consult the towns would be good for us at this point. I just want to draw your cards. I just want to draw your cards, opponent. Is that asking so much, really? Whew. A little 
tired was up late last night. By that I mean my kids were up early. Oh, it's all relative, right? What's late and what's early. But everyone's having a good Tuesday. My opponent's taking this round. I just like take a moment to say good morning, afternoon, and good night to everyone, wherever you're at in the world. Thanks for choosing to spend part of your day here with us. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I am a TCG player and content producer. You've landed up my Twitch page, maybe my YouTube page in the future. If you're enjoying what you see in front of you, I'd encourage you to show the support page and that follow button there on your screen. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps other people find my work. If you're really enjoying what you see and you want to help me produce more of this awesome content, the best way you could do that is by subscribing on Twitch or becoming a patron on Patreon for varying amounts. There's information on how to do the, that those things down below the stream there. True Dawn FM with the 30 viewer host. Thank you and welcome folks coming over from there. I think we're just going to go ahead and clean up with the Lasgar's Vengeance here. They only have uh, one action in their crypt so far, so the Phoenix isn't anywhere near coming back. I guess I'll hold my Rinald's Repost up here. Aging in Sith years. All right, well, I think we're going to run back the same line we had last turn. The old... And we're actually going to use this to generate a thing now. Maybe I should have actually played the Rust Bucket out here first so I make another one. I could see that potentially being right. It's weird we're going to win the game where we draw the last guard's Vengeances. So if I play this, I attack them for three this turn down to four, and then they're dead to the Oh yeah, so this is this is just lethal then, right? Because the last guard is going to kill them. You can even hold up repost while we kill them with the last guard's vengeance. For the extra blowouts. Look at us in the gold with our cloud bounder sleeves. That's so exciting. That's so exciting. Value City. Will snipe for food with the seven month resubscription. Thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. Welcome back. Um Yeah, I see it's fine. It's hard to pass up a turn two four four, right? Fun fun factoid, that audio clip is actually my children laughing. It's probably obvious, but it is. Pulled that out of one of my wife's recordings. Turn two Death Seeker. Oh, this is probably uh, this is the Biz deck, right? I was like, I was trying to think. I was like, what? What Shoku decks in the format? It's actually good. I'm excited to play this matchup. I really like what MTGO has done with the place, right? This is this is Magic Digital Next. It's a magic-like game designed with digital in mind. That's lethal. That's gross. Uh, 10 out of 10 trading here if they offer it. Hmm. 
think I'm just hitting this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to block this next turn if they even have a troop here, so. Wall of Roots works correctly here, right? <laughs> the code ghostly. Look, I'm just I'm just here to dole out honesty for everyone, right? Like we're not we don't hold any punches for for nothing. Magic's fun, and that's the that's the reason I'm playing some Magic Online again. It's the reason everyone plays Magic Online, right? Like, it's not because of software games, it's because Magic is a fun game, and it, no joke, it's the most convenient way to play Magic. It's a little gruesome opponent, where it looks like we're about to get bodied here. Dead. I feel like I'm dead no matter how we cut it. Gruesome deed sounds great. Gemborn Prowler is amazing. The one Ruby Saver is probably fine. It's a combat trick slash card that, that kills their other stuff. I can't tell if I like Death Seeker or not. That might be like medium minus. Dania might be able to go here. Trim some of these since I bring you in Gemborn Prowlers to keep my Necrotic Hound up. Let's try it like this. That. Ooh, I got a shiny! Do I get another one next level? I do get another one next level. That's exciting. All right, now, now I am much happier. For the magic players in the audience, the number of comments that I've gotten on my video from last night are people suggesting lines with the Court of Calling while there's a Graft Digger's Cage in play is amazing. Game detects losing streak, gives you something to pull you right back in. Pretty easy mulligan here, only one threshold. Medium keep. You're not wrong, casting cord is in fact a legal play. So we go Wicked Web Spawn here on two. Matriarch on three, sign me up. Means we get to chant power on three as well for two dreadlings. Give us some scrounge fodder down the line. If they MC here, we're obviously gonna jump born prowler it as opposed to matriarching. That's a little annoying.
So a couple different lines here. I think the right choice is just push damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread Ivan and then gruesome deed to kill this and then crack my opponent for two. It's not resource efficient, but it's damage efficient, which is probably what I mostly care about when I don't have many cards left in my hand. Someone remind me to save the deck list after this batch, by the way. I for still forgot to do that, didn't I? I probably had the wrong deck list up there during that game one. God. All sorts of out of it today. Give me something socketed to Gemborn. Give me something socketed to Gemborn. Play Dismetriarch of the Flames. Play this, make her a 4 4. Crunch. What you got? What you got? What you got, opponent? That's kind of annoying. I guess I still have a 4 4 hanging out. Play this out for now. I think I'm just gonna attack with this and hold the rust bucket. This lets me leave the gem born activation up. It also means I can rust bucket something potentially more threatening than a 2 3 that doesn't need already, already doesn't block very well. Oh jeez. This is this has It's got a relevant text box for us, let's just say that. Okay, that's great too. We can go web spawn into Rust Bucket next turn. Say so one of your idiots can't block attack with both of these for four, five, six, seven, plus two of two off of here. It feels good. Be -de 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 -de. We knew that it wouldn't now. Be -de 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 -de. This can't block. It really can't block now. Be -de 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 -de. Just has rage one. Get get wrecked. And just like that, the game was over. Oh, that was dumb. My guy was still dying either way. Eh, it doesn't matter. This should this should hopefully mean the game's over.
Ah, the finger puppet. Why did the ban of Cat come one day after the other bans? Because Watsy has no idea how to manage their game. Because Watsy has... Because they, they're new, they haven't been doing this whole TCG thing for very long, and they're still, they're still getting their footing underneath them. Really is what it comes down to. They'll figure it- I th by the time they've been doing it for 20 or let's say 25 or 26 years, I'm sure they'll be really good at things by then. But for now, they're still just kind of feeling it out. <laughs> Actually, I miss I miscounted, right? I'm 26. Magic's only 24, right? It's almost 25. But still, 20-ish. Yeah, we should credit me. I'm the reason they had to pedal things back. They looked at my blog and were just like, "Nope, we can't have this. Hoagland's upset." We can't upset Hoagland. That's not true. I'm sure... I'm sure I am blacklisted out of every discussion at Watsi by this point. I've been way too rude about the things they do wrong. No turn to play? No turn to play? Pass the turn! Okay, I will accept that. Yazuka. They care what he thinks. That's that's true. I guess Frank would be what you could call a Watsy boy. Right, Kendrill? It's gotta be. Yeah! What can we do to make Hoagland upset today? Alright, so what do we want to do here? I think... I think it's just Pyre Spoke Cabalist. Into champ power. Do I want to attack with this too? I guess I get the champ power again next turn regardless here, which feels pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a turn here. This dies, we get another charge. So next turn, I'm gonna get to go shard, dread apprentice, scrounge, hit my champ power, get three assault triggers. This Runier might run away with the game. I'm just gonna take this hit here. I'd like to draw a gruesome deed. Wicked web spawn, that might be good here down the line. We are on the activate our champion power every turn for the rest of the game plan, which feels good. Maybe I should have left this back so I could jump block one of these things next turn. I guess I could have put Rust Bucket plus Dread Apprentice in front of this next turn. I'm assuming they're just still blocking here. Yeah, they know Last Guards is super cheap. Um, 
Am I doing anything here? I feel like I'm not. Maybe I just want to play the Death Seeker out. I'm just going to play the Death Seeker out. Oh, I can scrounge it here too, sure. In case, like, this next turn goes sideways. And, like, next turn I can go Crusader into Lasgar's into Champ Power. So, we'll see what they do here on this turn. It might be right to Lasgar's to clean up the Death Seeker here, but I kind of want to hold the Lasgar's to clean up whatever blockers they can put out this turn. I don't understand why Gideon is still legal. They thought that card was rotating. They d clearly didn't. Des they didn't design these sets with him in mind. They should have just gotten rid of him. Hey, look at that! A card that dies to Lasgar's vengeance. Sweet. All right, so we just need to not die in combat this turn. Do I just like? Oh, I can't. I can't block there. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so I just have to go here and here. Have to block both of these. They're still dead on the backswing, right? I think they're still dead on the backswing. Okay, yeah, they're still dead on the backswing. Oh, I have to sacrifice something. Still dead, though? Yeah, still dead. Good. Good. Glad we had this conversation. It's you, me, and Mr. McGee. Vengeance for Lasgar! Got him. Got him. Let's save the red link stick here real fast. So it can be on the left side there. God bless, look at that as a correct lame and everything. Just letting everyone know who's the best Lasgar's deck in town. He says as he cues into possibly the best Lasgar's deck in town. Sega's deck's kind of scary. I think the fact that we are... I think the fact that we are plus seven life in this matchup makes us a favorite. Yeah, weird, right? Just like scroll it right on up there. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to play this on one for Ruby and kill this Bolt Spads, which is going to save us a ton of life. If you're looking for an optimal deck to grind the ladder as quickly as possible, 10 out of 10 would recommend this one. That card's very good here. We need to kill our next thing, too, now. It's really unfortunate. I'm not playing one mismatched Crusader. Get out of here. So on a scale of one to dead, we are almost certainly dead. All right, so I can play this and then next turn, if we draw a resource, we can go a non-slow shard. We can go Wicked Web Spawn into Rust Bucket Distractor, Scrounge, make two guys, into Champ Power, make two guys, attack for four, put this to four. So, like, maybe there's a chance. We're still probably a turn too slow on the draw with that. So we're taking 8 here, down to 10. Plenty dead here. Uh, reserving. We want the extra cremates. 
Definitely want the Riposte. Zanya's Blood Fist is a little too slow. Um, they don't do much blocking, so Rust Block and Distractor is pretty bad. Gruesome Deed's probably fine. Let's give this a try. Opponent's got, got ruby, ruby colored promises to keep here. Go first. Um, yes, yeah, is a keep. Threshold's a touch awkward. And like, that's one of the things the Angus deck definitely has on us is the consistency. The fact that they're mono ruby means that they're gonna do what they do game in and game out more consistently than what we have going on. Make Ruby here. Um, I'm just gonna play the web spawn to be resource efficient here. If they have removal, they can kill web spawn or death seeker, and I think I'd rather be resource efficient. If they offer this trade, we're taking it, unless they offer this trade, and then we're taking that one. Every time. Alright, slam a 4 4, I guess. Go ahead. Yeah, after after hitting our third resource drop, this is definitely towards the top. We have been pyre struck. Yep. Get voided, Emperor's Lackey. Casual Bolt Spasm, having gotten six points of damage already here. Um... <sighs> There's just no way I can play defense here. Oh, you know what? This was a mistake. I should have uh, scrounged the Dread Apprentice here. I already have a troop in the crypt. Yeah, and then we could play Lasgar's next turn if we draw on slow shard. That's definitely what should have happened there. 10 out of 10 messed up. Remember what we talked about potentially being able to Lasgar's next turn? Definitely would have been a good line. Well, we missed, so we didn't get punished, I guess. Now we're going to play defense, though, with the Crusader. This can do two and uh, two, and two, and then we take two, five. So they put us to two, so they only have to deal two damage out of their hand here to kill us. So likely pretty dead here. Yep. See, look, win fast, lose fast. Grind stars went from being trapped in silver all the way up to gold five with a couple of stars here. We'll play one more match before we wrap it up for the day. Thanks everyone for watching today. I do appreciate it. I remember I am not live tomorrow. It's my day off from streaming live, but I will have a hero battles video posted on my YouTube channel tomorrow morning. And I'll be back live with some more Hex CCG come Thursday afternoon, about noon central standard time, continuing the, the grind back up the ladder. Season just reset, so you can re-earn all those rewards. What a sweet, sweet Hearthstone hand. Uh, it needs resources though. Yeah, sure, send me up. It's got last guards in the opener. Blood Wild Zorath. Interesting. Xanya is a good addition here. Get two assault cards to start triggering with our Death Seeker ASAP. Little sad that we don't have blood to play on one, but our turn two can be Death Seeker plus cremate uh, a two drop if they have one worth killing. Which they do not. Web spawn. Well now our turn two is gonna be web spawn. And then next turn, we can go Ruby, Deathseeker, Champ Power for two Dreadlings, Crack for three. Hopefully they don't have a Crusader here or something big. Dormant one deal. Hopefully we could just race that. Our hand's in a pretty good position to do so, I think. Nice. So we get to trigger Assault three times on Xanya and Ladsgar's Vengeance. So Xanya's going to start hitting like a truck here. Playing the Necrotic out gives us a second Underworld Troop count for Ivan. So just go ahead and smashy smashy here. Next turn we can cremate with Scrounge, which will trigger this and then play Xanya, which will make this free, I believe. 
five. Yep. So we can play Lasgars for free next turn if we want. She, whenever a troop we control attacks, she gets rage one. So we attacked with three troops, so she's up to rage three because that stacks. And then whenever she attacks, each troop in our hand gets rage one. So, cremate your face, play the Zanya, smash your face. Do I want to play this Lasgar's post combat? Is the question. I think I want to hold it. I could get Withering Gaze. I'm just gonna play around withering gaze. This also like means if they play any spiders next turn, they don't uh, they don't get any life from them. Correct, that's exactly what happened. Just literal no idea what they're doing. Or the people that do know what they're doing don't have the ability to make their platform heard. Okay, well, I'm really glad we killed the Vilefang Emirate. So we're going to gain less life here now. They could have a Strangle to kill this, I suppose, to live. Because they're going to gain... They're going to gain... Uh, oh, this is going to transform, right? Because two things are going to die. Underworld Crusader should mean they're dead. They could have a removal spell here. They're dead if they don't have a removal spell. All right, got him. Uh, don't actually know what my opponent's doing. I feel like I would like to draw some extra cards though, because they're probably a little grindy. Let's just swap cremates for those and see how this goes. Sounds like Dece Plus, right? It's got a good one drop. It's got a good two drop. We get to go one, two, three. It's like elementary. What could it be? I'm gonna lean on Graven, guys, because I feel like there's... I feel like there's Exarch of the Eggs in their deck, and I'd like to push damage. They have one of those on, too. Rats. No oh, Exarch of the Egg. It feels so stupid. Play my Wicked Web Spawn out here. Next turn we can play Crusader, activate our champion power, and get our smashy smashy on. And that's just me dreaming big that we're gonna hit, uh... Butcher. Okay. Yep. Blood is gonna be kinda tough to race, right? Ain't a life every time one of their troop dies. Pretty powerful. Welcome to Brick City, population us. Um, yeah, I guess we just play another Wicked Web Spawn out here and then attack with this. Next turn we can scrounge one of these Death Seekers and uh, generate a bunch of Dreadlings, which will give us plenty of scrounge fodder for all of our future endeavors. God, could you imagine if we had a Zanya or a Lasgard's Vengeance in our hand right now? It would be so free or she would be so huge. She'd be so huge. Why are you so huge? You're huge. Huge, child. Opponent still missing their wild thresholds here. Worth noting. Just draw a couple 
cards here, make some dreadlegs. Was that good? If so, why? This and this this is why this is the best Lasgar's Vengeance deck right now. We drew Lasgar's this turn on turn five. And it's just going to cost us zero. In fact, it's going to cost us... This will make two. It's going to cost us ten. It's going to cost us negative five. Drew Lasgar's this turn costs us negative five. Like, gosh. What a power hitter. Oh, don't misery me. <sighs> Whew. Thought we were gonna in before misery. Yeah, I thought we were gonna get got there for half a second. All right, and any folks, folks, thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna go ahead and toast you over to Kent Ketter. He's good people, and he's streaming every day this month. So, be kind. <laughs>